Welcome to Kaku Styling, I'm Maika and today let's talk about one of the questions that I get the most when it comes to color analysis. Am I a clear spring or a dark autumn? It definitely comes up since they are the high contrast types of the warm seasons, but there are a few key differences and that is what this video is about. If you're completely new, this is probably going to be very confusing. Here's my playlist about color seasons and how to find yours. And if you want me to make you a custom color chart, you can hire me as your stylist at kokostyling.com. All seasons have three color dimensions, temperature, value, and saturation. Clear springs and dark autumns are both warm seasons and they also have a high contrast level. When we talk about contrast types, we have light and dark, and then we have muted and bright. For the low contrast types, we have the muted or soft types and the light types. Those would be light spring, light summer, soft summer, and soft autumn. Like I said before, the high contrast types are clear types and dark types, so clear springs, clear winters, dark autumns, and dark winters. Okay, so now that we refreshed that information, let's go back to the dark autumn versus clear spring question. In order to figure out which one are you, you basically have to see which one is your main color dimension. Is it brightness or is it value? This is very confusing if you are not familiar with color dimensions on people, but let's try something. The main dimension of a clear spring will be brightness. A pure clear spring will have a medium value level, so most of their colors won't be light or dark. It will sit just in the middle, but they will have a high saturation level. Clear springs will look very saturated. And their eyes and hair can be black, but they won't be as intense as a dark autumn's. The main color dimension of a dark autumn is value. A pure dark autumn will have a medium saturation level, so most of their colors won't be muted or bright. It will sit just in the middle. Dark autumns have very deep and piercing features. Their eyes and hair will be black or a very deep shade of brown. It's quite simple when we talk about pure types, but just like almost everything when it comes to styling, it's a spectrum. It is not always going to be a black and white sort of thing, because all of us are different. If you have seen my videos on seasonal examples, you will be able to see that even when people share a season, some of their colors might change a little bit. It is because of where their features fall into the spectrum. Clear types look great in bright colors, but some of them might get overwhelmed by neons. The same goes for dark autumns. They look great in deep colors, but some of them might need colors that are slightly less dark. Let's see it like this. We have the three color dimensions, but some of them have more weight than others like saying the dominant dimension. Just to keep things simple, let's keep warmth at 10% and let's play with value and saturation. Without that 10%, we will be working with the other 90%. True types will be warm, but their main feature will be significantly more important than the remaining one. Since it's all a spectrum, those percentages can change from person to person. It can be confusing to know if you are a clear spring or a dark autumn. Some people do sit in between, but it usually won't be a 50-50. It would be very hard for someone to look great in all of the clear spring colors and all of the dark autumn colors. That doesn't mean that they will look bad in them and that if they don't look bad in those colors, they will automatically be a 50-50 type. 
let's remember that a color analysis is about the colors that make you pop your best colors, not just the ones that don't look terrible. Let's take a look at the next example. A chart like this would indicate that this person is a close spring with a darker value level. Notice how, since it's about percentages, as their value level increases, their saturation level decreases. So a person like this would still be a close spring, but their colors will be slightly less bright and slightly darker than a true clear spring. For the example of a darker clear spring, we have Jennifer Hudson. She looks great in bright colors that have a bit of depth to them. The thing is that even if she has a slightly darker value level, going for very dark colors head to toe would be too overwhelming in comparison to slightly darker colors. The opposite case would be a dark autumn whose colors would be slightly less dark and slightly brighter. So again, as the saturation level increases, the value level decreases. For the example, we have Ryan Destiny. She has a high saturation level, but her features allow her to wear very dark colors and look great instead of competing with her. In her case, her value level doesn't decrease as much, but I do think she is a very good example of a saturated dark autumn. Dark autumn versus clear spring is the question that I get the most, but this also happens with other types. Because we have three color dimensions and the default one is one of them sitting in the middle, that feature can lean a bit towards either side. That is what causes confusion between the types. It happens with sister types, family types, and cousin types. Let's remember that the color seasons create a circle. This makes it easier to visualize those groups. Family types would be same season types. A sister type would be a palette that shares your primary feature, so being dark and dark or clear and clear. A cousin type would be a palette that has the same type of contrast in another seasonal type that has the same temperature. But that one doesn't work if two features don't align because they are incompatible with each other. For example, if a dark autumn is more muted, its cousin palette can't be the clear spring palette because clear spring colors are the complete opposite of soft and muted colors. Here is a chart breaking down the types and their families. So we have the main types, so clear spring, light spring, dark autumn, soft autumn, dark winter, clear winter, and soft and light summer. And the family types, so we have the springs, the autumns, the winters, and the summers. Then we have the sister types, that would be the same type, and their cooler or warmer counterpart and then their cousin palette. But let's remember, not everyone has a cousin palette. This was supposed to be part of the Q&A, but I felt like going in depth was a better idea instead of just making the Q&A all about dark autumn versus clear spring. So here's the video. If you want, you can like it and share it. It does help a lot and congratulations for getting to this part of the video. It's almost done, I just have a few more things to say. If you are still unsure about dark autumn versus clear spring, you can make a simple test with these six colors. Red versus burgundy, true green versus olive, and yellow versus mustard. Another determining color would be gray, dark gray versus light gray. Most clear springs will not look good in grey, so if you can handle it, you are probably a dark autumn, and it should be a darker grey, not a light grey. And if you're still not sure about yours, you can hire me as your personal stylist at kirkerstyling.com and I will be making you a custom color chart. You can also go to my blog michaelumsten.com for more resources. I will be seeing you soon with the rest of my color series. 
light types and soft types, and also the Q&A, so please leave all of your questions in the comments below. Have a nice day and I really do hope to see you soon.